in the same way that trauma can become trapped in our physical bodies, old energy can also become trapped in our spiritual or metaphysical energy fields. Sometimes when energy is trapped within us, it shows up in both places, and sometimes it shows up in isolated areas such as chakras. We can experience energetic blockages in areas like our heart chakra, or our root chakra, or generalized overall blockages that affect us on an energetic level and can show up in multiple areas of our lives or can show up as feelings of sluggishness, being weighed down, general malaise, and a feeling of being blocked or burdened, for example. When we do different kinds of healing work, energetically, spiritually, or metaphysically, such as in spell casting, whether this healing work is related to a specific area, such as heart illumination, or it's a more generalized service, such as cleansing and clearing of stagnant energies, we often experience an energetic release as a result. This energetic release also occurs in services that are more targeted, such as spell breakers and curse breakers, and sometimes in road openers or blockbusters. When we go through the process of energetic release, it is a good sign because it is a part of the healing process. The healing is the release of the stagnant energies, the old energies that are blocking us, holding us down, the things that we no longer need and that we need to be removed so that we have a clear and open path towards positive change. In this healing process of releasing stagnant energies, we may experience old memories or old feelings arising once again to the surface. These energies are related to the past and related to the root cause of those energetic stagnancies or energetic blockages. When this process occurs, it is not necessary for us to specifically understand the root cause of the original blockage, and it's very important that we do not attach additional analysis to these feelings or these memories or these energies that arise within us. Because these feelings, these memories, these energies are related to the past and related to what we are releasing in order to flow in our healing process, they are not events or memories or circumstances which need to be analyzed any longer. It is very important that we don't attach additional mental and emotional energy to these old feelings. Instead, I suggest that you use a process of visualizing the feelings or visualizing the memories as pure energy with the strong intention that you are releasing the past and with the clear awareness that analysis or rumination or attempts to problem solve something which has already occurred is only going to reinforce attachments to that energy. What is needed is to let go, is to release the energy. In order to do so, we must understand that there's nothing about the situation that needs to be figured out or analyzed or examined, that instead we're dealing with energy. We're dealing with emotional energy and energy itself, spiritual or metaphysical. It is true that when we allow this energy to pass through our bodies to be released, we will feel the energy in the process. This feeling is also part of the healing. It's not necessary to avoid feeling. It is necessary to avoid mental attachment. It's very important that we do not over identify with our pain. It's visualizing or imagining or seeing this old energetic blockage or these old stagnancies as pure energy allows us to release them through our bodies. This is a process of intention which includes allowing the energies to move through our bodies, allowing us to feel them and allowing them to be released. Always understanding that the entire process is a process of releasing, that our bodies are a vessel and that we are allowing these energies 
to flow through our bodies and then to leave our bodies. There are many different practices which may assist us in this process. Some practices might include energy work with your chakras or intentional grounding work. You can also simply visualize the energy being released from your body in any way that feels comfortable to you. That includes releasing the energy from your hands, from the palms of your hands, perhaps from the soles of your feet, perhaps from other areas of the body or perhaps from your entire body. When you go through this healing process of releasing energetic stagnancies, you may once again feel bogged down or fatigued or burdened, uh, physically or energetically burdened. You may have a heavy feeling, be lethargic, or even feel as if you're getting a cold. This too is normal and this too is part of the healing process and it will pass within a few days. During this process, I encourage you to take excellent care of yourself the same way that you would if you were indeed coming down with a cold or something similar. Drink lots of water, refrain from drinking alcohol and caffeine, eat healthy food or eat more lightly if that feels right to you. Sometimes that's helpful for people. So do what feels right for you. Take good care of yourself. Have plenty of fluids. Get extra rest if you can and just go easy for a few days. Set the intentions, have faith, and understand that you are going through a healing process. It's necessary to feel the energy in order to release it. It's necessary to get through the thick of it, to get through the hardest parts in order to reach the finish line. Oftentimes, it's the avoidance of our feelings in the first place that can lead to energetic blockages. So it's very important that you accept this process that you allow the energies to move through you and you do so with the strong intention that you are releasing, healing, and moving forward. Many blessings.